Welcome, brothers and sisters, to the Catholic Mass here in the Fireside Chapel at St. Henry Catholic Church in Gresham, Oregon. This is the 24th Sunday of Ordinary Time. My name is Father Charles Zock. Our readers are Debbie and Gary, our musicians Michelle and Barb, and our videographer and greeters Jim and Peggy. Let us now come worship the Lord. in favor of God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. And with your spirit. As we prepare to celebrate these sacred mysteries and to hear the very word of God, we pause a moment and call to mind our sins and ask for God's loving pardon. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord have, mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Lord. 
and ruler of all things, and that we may feel the working of your mercy, grant that we may serve you with all our heart, through Christ our Lord. Amen. A reading from the book of Sirach. Wrath and anger are hateful things, yet the sinner hugs them tight. The vengeful will suffer the Lord's vengeance, for he remembers their sins in detail. Forgive your neighbor's injustice, for when you pray, your own sins will be forgiven. Could anyone nourish anger against another and expect healing from the Lord? Could anyone refuse mercy to another like himself? Can he seek pardon for his own sins? If one who is but flesh cherishes wrath, who will forgive his sins? Remember your last days. Set enmity aside. Remember death and decay and cease from sin. Think of the commandments, hate not your neighbor. Remember the Most High's covenant and overlook faults. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be God. to God.
A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, none of us lives for oneself, and no one dies for oneself. For if we live, we live for the Lord, and if we die, we die for the Lord. So then, whether we live or die, we are the Lord's. For this is why Christ died and came to life, that he might be Lord of both the dead and the living. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Forgives your brother from your heart. 
the gospel of the Lord. It was 50 years ago this fall when I began graduate studies at Oregon State in Science. I would go to the Newman Center for daily mass and one day a Father Charlie Harris was there preaching and he liked to do dialogue homilies. So he started off by asking a question. What are the great commandments? I shot my hand up. I know this. <laughs> to love your Lord God with your heart, soul, mind, and strength and your neighbor as yourself. And Father Charlie said, no, you missed one. And ask the rest of the students, which one did this lowly servant miss? We all gave up. It was the new commandment we heard in the Alleluia verse. This is the new commandment I give you. Love as I have loved you. Not just love the Lord your God and your neighbor, but the third, to love as I have loved you. And one of the greatest expressions of that love is the compassion called forgiveness. So difficult, even in the book of Sirach, it said, grudges are not a healthy response. For it refuses mercy from God for yourself. Withholding forgiveness can bring only more pain, emotional, spiritual, and physical upon yourself. But forgiveness opens yourself to the healing mercy and peace of God. And so Jesus, in expressing that, gave this parable today. A servant was forgiven a huge amount out of compassion from the master. He begged and received forgiveness of that huge debt. Then he went out and a lesser servant owed him a small debt in comparison. He would not forgive him. He throttled him. He put him into prison till the debt was paid. What a mistake on the part of the first servant because the master found out what that servant had done and he withheld his forgiveness and mercy and put him in prison until he should repay his entire debt. He missed a golden opportunity, the parable tells us. And so will our Heavenly Father deal with us if we don't forgive. Fortunately, forgetting is not part of the gospel requirement. If we have ever been hurt, we're better off not forgetting so that we can remember how much it hurt so we don't hurt someone else and then receive ourselves the very mercy of a loving and caring God. We don't want to miss our golden opportunities that are given to us every day. His refusal, this first servant to forgive, destroyed him. We hear in the Our Father and we pray it every day. Forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. It's very clear what Jesus means by the new, the third commandment. Love one another as I have loved you. I know we all have battle stories of being forgiven or of forgiving. Hold those close to your heart. This one I learned about recently from the great historian Thomas 
Fleming, who died three years ago at the age of 90. He tells a story of his father, who also was Thomas, but he went by Teddy. He was brought as a young man from the old country, an Irish Catholic, and settled in Jersey City. In time, as he grew to be a teenager, he ended up going to war for the United States and even fought in the Argonne Forest during the First World War. When he came back, a young man, it was very difficult, but he looked everywhere for a job. He finally found a factory that would hire him. He learned the delicate skill of watchmaking at that factory. The owner was a Mr. Blaine. Everyone who came to work every day, you were asked the same question before you came through the gate. Protestant or Catholic? If you responded Catholic, you were sent away. Much to his embarrassment, he would always respond Protestant, so he had a job. In time, he married, had a family, and now the young boy that he had, Thomas, he shared the story about Mr. Blaine and what had happened during the time he needed a job. He told him that in 1929, when the stock market crashed, Mr. Blaine lost everything. Fortunately, Teddy had been putting away some money, so he had just enough to open a small watch repair shop. And in time, another one and another one. As he was telling his son, I always remembered with embarrassment, having to respond every day, Protestant and not Catholic. So Thomas took that to heart. And one day the doorbell rang. It was in the 40s. Teddy opened the door and Thomas was at the foot of the stairway. Teddy recognized the man at the door in the tattered cloak, emaciated and very sick, Mr. Blaine. And Mr. Blaine asked him for a job. Thomas said, I waited for him to send him away. My dad looked at him and said, can you do bookkeeping? He said, yes, I can, and he hired him on the spot. That's what Thomas remembered most of all about his dad, his compassion, as much pain as he remembered from those years of working for Mr. Blaine. Compassion and forgiveness, not forgetting, but compassion and forgiveness came to his heart. Today, we pray for the grace to forgive and move on with our life. Just as we thank the Lord for the innumerable times he has forgiven us and himself moved on with sharing his life with us. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us stand as we recite the Apostles' Creed together. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. 
From there, he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Mindful of the mercy we have received, we ask God's mercy on the church and the world. That the church serve as a beacon of reconciliation, leading others in the ways of harmony and peace. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our, our prayer. prayer. That we may know the comfort of Jesus as we face the struggles of forest fires, pandemic illness, and racial unrest, May the first responders in crisis events be protected and equipped for their duty. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That each of us may have the courage to face whatever hardness lies in our own hearts. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who persevere in research to, kill, to cure diseases are mindful of the preciousness of all life. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For Father Zach, as he celebrates his birthday this week, <laughs> may our gratitude for his compassionate attention to our needs bring him the blessings of friendship from this community of St. Henry. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have died this week, Michael Ryan and Lucille Talbert, Find rest with God in heaven and for our personal prayers. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. God of the living and the dead, you call believers to love one another. Do not hold our sins against us, but hear the prayers we offer. In the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. Please be seated. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this bread to offer, which earth has given and human hands have made. This will become for us the bread of life. Through this mystery of water and wine, may we come to share in the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this wine to offer, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. This will become our spiritual drink. Lord, wash away my iniquity, cleanse me of my sin. Sisters and brothers, we pray together that this, our sacrifice, may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Look with favor on our supplications, O Lord, and in your kindness accept these, your servants' offerings, that what each has offered to the honor of your name may serve the salvation of all. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Amen. The of the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is, right and just. it is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord, for by his birth he brought renewal to humanity's fallen state, and by his suffering canceled out our sins. By his rising from the dead he has opened the way to eternal life, and by ascending to you, O Father, he has unlocked the gates of heaven. 
And so with the company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise, as without end we acclaim. and entered willingly into his passion he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying take this all of you and eat of it for this is my body which will be given up for you In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection we offer you Lord the bread of life and the chalice of salvation giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and Alexander and Peter our bishops, with all the clergy and your faithful people. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with Henry and Cunegunda, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus the Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. divine teaching. We 
we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. May the peace of the Lord be with you all. And Let us share a sign of peace. Supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
Let us pray. May the working of this heavenly gift, O Lord, we pray, take possession of our minds and bodies so that its effects and not only desires may always prevail in us through Christ our Lord. Amen. One announcement concerning the beginning of our faith formation program from K all the way through high school. There's a mailing that went out, and it's also in our bulletin and online for registering for all of our programs. So please note that many parents from last year who will be receiving a detailed letter of that, but it's also online, and we'd like it to be dropped off on or before September 26th and 27th, after all the Masses, the last weekend of the month, there will be someone in the parking lot collecting all of the registration forms. More later about how we're going to uh, complete all of our faith formation programs, either in person or virtually. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us go in the peace of Christ. Creation of God.